Hey everyone, I just realized I've never done like a proper walkthrough for my courses for you to actually see what's inside. So I will show you the content while talking and, you know, showing you some footage so you can really see what's inside and what you can get. And often I see people arguing in, you know, the comments whether to learn from free courses or get some course. And I think it's really simple because you see I do also free tutorials every week. And yes, you can certainly learn a lot from tutorials, from free tutorials out there. Uh, but certain people like, you know, planned approach and linear um, progression, because in the course, you kind of get everything in one place and in order that you need it. Uh, but it's not only about that, because when I do a tutorial, um, it's an isolated topic. On the other hand, when you purchase a course, it's my responsibility to you as a customer to explain everything in detail and to give you basically every knowledge that I have. So altogether, there are like 14 different scenes and each is focused on a certain style and tools. And this was really important as I wanted to give the students a palette of styles and options so they can go and create whatever they need. So the first one I made was the Become a 3D Illustrator course, and this is where it all started and where it also starts for every beginner. Um, this course was recorded for someone who never even opened Blender and designed to get them to work with 3D and find clients. And the key first two episodes were just completely re-recorded this year uh, because they are really crucial for the newcomer to not to get confused by even like minor changes in UI. And I always try to kind of chop my courses into these like smaller bite-sized lessons. So you can quickly just do a lesson and then move on to the next one or, you know, um, continue the next day. Um, but when I watched some courses, I didn't exactly like um, to see like separate theory lessons and exercises. So I recorded all my courses as extended tutorials, basically where I explain things as we progress through the project. So you create right from the first minute of the lesson. Um, by the way, this was absolutely painful to script because I had to really plan out how and when to introduce new tools and explain techniques. So yeah, maybe just let me play you a bit from a lesson. So the black means no roughness at all and the white means full roughness. And let's hit OK. And now you can see the roughness changed a little bit. Uh, but what's most important to notice is the image texture got created here in the node editor and it's connected to roughness. So again, that's why I wanted to show you because this is nothing else that a UI, a visual representation of what happens underneath the material in the nodes. And you could completely ignore this UI. You could just create this node setup yourself. You can create an image texture, um, create a new one, set its properties, connect it to a roughness channel, and then select it for painting because you need to have the texture selected if you want to paint. You need to make sure it's highlighted in white in your node editor. And it doesn't really matter if you paint in 2D or 3D. If I paint here, you will see this happens here as well. And now you can see how the roughness works. And as I said, the sushi and forest episodes are your first contact. So you mostly learn Blender navigation, UI and basic modeling tools. But with each, you also get a lighting setup and render out your scene so you can immediately go practice on your own. And that's something that I really recommend as it really helps to soak in all the new information. And then we have the Ancient Ruins episode and this one offers like more variety of the modeling tools and techniques and introduce like new lighting approach and some more advanced systems like particles. And then you jump to Cloud 66 lesson and there I go all in and create a complex scene, work with composition, kit bashing, even basic car modeling, more lighting variation. And there's also a bonus lesson um, to make it all animated. So this one is always like a breaking point for students and often excites them the most. And finally, the episode with the isometric room introduces completely new smooth style, more details, PBR texturing. So it's kind of like a cherry on top after all the hard low poly work. Um, I won't go and list like all the bonuses, like asset packs and stuff like that. Um, but what I want to mention that there's an access to more than 350 Blender scenes to download. So yeah, you might have noticed that I was a little bit active here on YouTube the past couple of years. Um, and basically every scene I create 
is there for you to explore and learn from. It's great help for someone who finishes the courses and likes some of my new scenes, for example. I update this regularly so they can just go in and look how I made it. And then we can move on, on to the 3D characters and illustration course. Um, that was the second big course I made and it's basically a season two for the first one. So I really wanted to give students a way to easily create characters. And then I put in some more scenes that naturally expand on the knowledge from the first course. Now it also works as a standalone course, um, but you need a little bit of Blender knowledge to um, start this one. So that's why it's like a natural extension of the first one. Now I'm really proud of the character episodes because it's probably one of the few, if not only, out there um, that don't use sculpting for characters. I'm not a character sculptor, but I always wanted to create characters for some of my scenes. So I came up with a modeling method that allows even like non-artistic students with no anatomy knowledge to create characters using a reference. It's all very methodical and step-by-step -step approach that results in a decent character look and proportions. So, and then of course rigging and posing and lighting is part of it. So again, you get a final result by the end of each episode. And finally, there is a hard surface modeling episode that will teach you, you know, more technical and modifier based side of things in Blender and is focused on non-destructive approach. So you can still like change things in the scene and move around and it will all just work. And then there's also a sculpted environment lesson. So you can try the sculpting in Blender for the first time and see how to use it in illustrative work like this. The first episode mostly serves as getting up to speed lesson. So if you come from a first course, it will help you to recall important things. And if you only purchase this course, it will help you to prepare for the other episodes. But again, it stands on its own with its own style. Um, I talk about the colors there a lot. So again, I always make sure that I don't create like a filler content that each of my episodes explains um, important things, important topics. And now we can move on to the Arcane House, which is um, my latest course from the last year. Um, this is the only course that's only one scene. Uh, because it's really extensive and there's basically every technique I use on a regular basis, all the modeling tools, boolean workflows, unwrapping, texturing, foliage creation, lighting. It's basically like all the knowledge before but on steroids compressed into a single scene. So if you like the style that you see here and you want to get there as fast as possible and you already have some knowledge in Blender, get this one and you definitely will be satisfied. And finally, the lettering course was made in partnership with Ian Barnard, a hand lettering artist who provided the lettering artworks to recreate in 3D. Uh, but it's kind of funny because it became with him asking if I plan to create something that would help him to recreate his works in 3D and we kind of got talking and this course was born. So um, yeah, again, you get multiple scenes and each has a different skill set and purpose, all designed with beginner in mind. So the first one starts from scratch again, similar to Sushi episode, but the workflow is more focused on using UI rather than too many keyboard shortcuts as I was approaching a little bit different audience this time. And here you will learn basic modeling, working with text, curves, HDRI lighting and some hard surface and texturing workflows. And if you ask me, this one is a little bit underrated as it offers a wide range of knowledge in a compact shape. Uh, and of course, apart from the Arcane House, you can get all three in a bundle. And each of my courses come with a special Discord role where you can access the classroom channel and get priority responses from me um, and the team. And again, our Discord isn't just like a filler content. Um, it's an active, lively place where we hang out each day and chat and have a lot of fun. Um, there's a lively community there. We respond um, to feedback requests. Um, we answer questions. We try to help. So if you're learning Blender, that's definitely a place to be. So that's it. Um, this probably took a little bit longer than I expected, um, but hopefully it was useful to you if you ever considered my courses and didn't know what to expect. So now you know and you can decide whether it's for you or not. So yeah, thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day.